In this video, we will try to answer the age-old question what to do when we can't launch our Plex app and how to really make it work in GUI. So, here we go, without further ado. Alright, so what I'm going to try to do is set up Plex on my FreeNAS. So let's log in. I've already set up my storage and uh, set up my host for Doc Docker host. So I went ahead and I added a container uh, that's built in for Plex. So I enabled all the ports that they wanted. And everything is fine here. Network setting is in the bridge mode. Um, I use DHCP. I will change it to static later when I make sure that this is working. The only thing that I really added is um, this. So I added a host volume where my data is located according to this is called MacVLAN in Docker, but this is really bridge mode. So if you look here, this is on GitHub guide. It says path to media slash data, right? So I figured in FreeNAS, in GUI, it's easy enough. I mean, you could go through, through CLI and do this, just copy those and paste. But in GUI, if I add this to volume as a host, where my media is located, I should be able to launch the Plex and then uh, select the folders that I want for each type of my media. So I'm going to start this um, container and I'm going to open up the web UI. Okay, so if I go to my TV shows right now, and I edit the database, um, I should be able to go to data folder that I selected there, shows, and add, and save changes. And let's see if they come up. I'm looking, I'm seeing them show up. This is beautiful. This actually is working. So it really is straightforward. You just have to, on this very server, I have my data located on um, SMB share. And all I did was add that in the volume option down there in the Plex as I showed you. But it's really simple. If I edit it and I highlight that folder again, I'm so glad I found that explanation on GitHub. Alright, so this is photos, so I'm going to select that and save changes. Alright, this is still processing the TV shows, but they're showing up. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. You can't live without Vikings. I don't know who can. All right, uh, let me see the photos, if the, the libraries are currently loading. Let me do the same thing for music. I'm going to go to this, browse, data, my music folder, add that, save. Same thing with movies, edit. So I've created the Plex app and I launched it and it was fine, All I, but I couldn't figure out a way to to add these until I found the explanation there on GitHub, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people will have the same question: um, how to do this in GUI? So, uh, like I said, everything is stock built into the app. All I did was add that data folder as an option, so that I can then go to browse and find these folders. So it's pretty useful in that manner. So. I'm going to add a folder, movies, right? Okay, so 
I'm going to data film add save changes my movies my music my photos my TV shows everything is getting added this is beautiful all right so all I have to do now is assign a static IP after all this is done processing and then uh, reconnect my TVs and off I go really so people enjoy it I'm gonna go back to this and like I said one more time all I did is in volumes here everything else is self-explanatory all the ports when you're setting up this container to set up a container again you have to have a host set up first and on top of that host which is really a VM like a virtual machine you can put containers the docker containers and if you add containers they have tons of them already and then you just add it you name it etc 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 so for those of you that are new to this I'm trying to go through the GUI so that everybody can benefit from it if you like this video please like it and subscribe and maybe uh, if you have questions feel free to ask them down in the comments I am going to go through the free NAS a bit by bit section by section and upload these different sections in different videos as little snippets so enjoy the content have a great day bye